You know, many of us first heard the story of Snow White from Walt Disney's 1937 animated classic, but that's just one of almost 500 years worth of adaptations of the same story. Uh, this play, for example, debuted on Broadway in 1912. It was written under the pseudonym of Jesse Brom White, whose real name was Winthrop Ames. In 1916, Walt Disney saw the silent film based on Winthrop Ames' musical in Kansas City, and inspiration set in to make his own version someday. But to get to the earliest known root of the story we all know as Snow White, we have to go back further, much, much further, to the year 1303 when a sultan by the name of Alauddin Kilji seized the city of Chittor in western India. The poet Malik Muhammad Jigasi immortalized and embellished this siege almost 240 years later, when he published his epic poem Padmavat, which begins with a parrot flying from his home of Simhala to the nearby kingdom ruled by Alauddin Kilji, who takes a liking to the bird. The sultan's wife, Queen Nagabadi, holds the parrot while admiring herself in a mirror, and asks if there is anyone in the world as beautiful as she. To her dismay, the parrot informs her of the superior beauty of Padmavati in his homeland of Simhala. In her jealousy and paranoia, the queen orders a maidservant to kill the parrot. But the maidservant, ever loyal to the king, knows the king favors the parrot and hides it instead. Inevitably, the parrot finds the sultan, informs him of Padmavati's beauty, and the sultan becomes obsessed with Padmavati, and eventually decides to invade and conquer her homeland to win her over. This tale traveled around the world in many forms throughout the years, including variations such as The Young Slave in Italy in 1634, Bidsari in Malaysia in 1750, and then, of course, Snow White in Germany in 1812, as adapted by two brothers named Jacob and Wilhelm, better known as the Brothers Grimm. Though they claimed to collect their stories from German peasants, they actually relied heavily on the more well-to-do and international members of high society, as well as collection of tales already assembled from a variety of sources. Their original version was much more different from our modern telling of the tale. For example, their original version of Snow White features the villainous queen being forced to put on iron shoes heated in the fire, and then dancing until her demise. The 1912 play chooses to simply take away the queen's beauty and have her relinquish her title to Snow White. If we look at further differences between the Grimm story, the play, and the Disney film, you'll find the Queen does not use magic to create disguises in the Grimm brothers' telling, but uses it to enchant a comb to become poisonous and vanquish Snow White. Prior to this, the Queen tries to end Snow White by tying her corset too tight. Finally, she gives her the poison apple we're now acquainted with. The play does not include the corset, and the film, of course, only includes the poison apple. The play also separates the queen into a non-magical queen and an elderly witch, while the animated film reunites them into one being. Some other elements from the Disney film taken directly from the play are having a dwarf who doesn't speak, the dwarves not finding value in the jewels they mine all day, the dwarves getting a kiss from Snow White, as well as Snow White baking while the dwarves are out. The Brothers Grimm story only features a brief mention of wild beasts chasing Snow White into the woods. The play has a single brown bird helping Snow White, while the film features a menagerie of helpful forest animals. But what always remains constant is the unending kindness and uplifting personality of Snow White herself. And that, my friends, is the Disney derivative.